welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing the brand new Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet Palette. Urban Decay have partnered with me on this video to show you guys three different ways to wear the palette. So I did one of these videos in the past and the way that I kind of like to do it is to show you a really simple everyday makeup you can do. Something a little bit more kind of funky and then something super glam. This is my super glam look if you can't tell. I kind of chat about it a little bit more in the video but I think that a purple naked palette was exactly what was missing from Urban Decay. When I think of Urban Decay I do think of the colour purple and the palette itself is super cool. I actually love the fact that they've got a little bit of a neutrals section and then they've got their purples so if you'd like to see the three looks that i created please stay tuned hello so the first look i'm going to do using the ultraviolet palette is super natural you can see i've done one eye already this is how i do it to make sure that i'm creating different eye looks for my base or my eyes i'm going to use the all nighter concealer this is in the shade medium neutral and i'm just going to pat a little bit on i love using a concealer as a base for eyeshadows. I just think it really blanks out, blanks out your canvas, you know? And I'm just gonna pat that out with a brush. Uh, this concealer is really long wear. If you know the All Nighter Foundation, you'll know. Um, and it's nice and matte as well, so there's no slippiness. Once it's dry, it's dry, um, which makes it really good as an eyeshadow base. Obviously, Urban Decay do the primer potion as well, which is such an OG. I do really like it, but for these looks, I'm going to use the concealer. For the shadows, I'm trying to use a kind of variation. So with the palette, you've got your kind of wild side here, and then you've got your kind of more neutral day-to-day -day side. So I'm going to use the shade Hacked, which is just here. I'm going to use the shade Hacked in my crease, and then I'm going to pat on Dazed over my lid and then I actually like a little bit of mine slip just to blend out the, the crease as well. Urban Decay shadows are great, they're really easy to work with. Hacked is a nice matte which makes it so perfect for a transition shade and I actually like that they've not gone for a warm brown. This is more like a kind of like a mauve I guess and this palette obviously is really really fun so it's nice to show you guys a super simple day look using the palette as well. You can see that's just going on so smooth, really easy. Do you know what I mean by the colour? It's a slight rosy mauve. It's a nice change actually. And again, I've got I've got green eyes, so it kind of makes them pop in a really subtle way. Obviously, you can do loads of wild looks with this palette, but like I said, it's nice to have nice to have a little day look you can do. And then I'm just going to go in with a flat brush and the shade Dazed. This shimmer is like whoa. You don't need to spray your brush if you don't want. Again, for the day look, you don't really need to. It's just something super quick that you can do with your palette. So I've got that all over my lid. It's kind of like a goldy peach. And that, that you guys, look at that. Oh! And then I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush and our first shade hacked and just do a really light wash under my eye. This is great for just stopping any creasing happening under your eye with your concealer. Wow, that is literally taking me like a minute. I'm gonna pop on a little bit of mascara. This is the Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. Super black, sticky mascara. And something you can do when you're doing an eye look like this, it's really fresh and light. You can just pop mascara on your top lashes and it keeps the whole look super fresh and, you know, nice and light. Zoom you out. I'm an eye pretty. So you guys, that is the first look. So easy and fresh and natural. Just a really quick everyday look using your palette. I am gonna go off camera, take these eyes off, do one eye and I'll be right back. Um, and we're gonna start funking it up a little bit. Look how cool. This is the second look and do you know what? <laughs> In true Jamie theme, it is actually really quick and easy. So I'm going to prep my eye using the concealer again. So I'm just going to chuck a little bit of that concealer on. I didn't do an amazing job of removing my mascara, but let's ignore that. Patting that out, you really don't need too much of this. And the concealer that I'm using is almost like my highlight shade. So it gives a little bit of brightness to the lid and it just makes the kind of bright colours pop when you put them on. I'm not actually going to set the concealer, I'm going to leave it like that. The colours that I use for this look are Cyberpunk and Warning. So I'm going to use these two for this look. And something that I really love lately, because both of these shadows are actually shimmer, but I am really enjoying using shimmer in my crease. 
these days. I think it's really fun. Also with shimmers, when you blend them out enough, you do just get a really nice wash of colour and you can't really tell it's a shimmer, but you can build it right up if you like. So I'm going to continue to build that up, going back in again, patting that on. I think this palette is such an Urban Decay palette, isn't it? It's been a long time coming, a purple naked palette. And then I'm going to go in with a flat brush and that shade Warning, which is a little bit brighter. Again, it's a shimmer. It's kind of almost like a duochrome shimmer. It's really smooth. And I'm just going in and then whacking that on all over the lid into the crease color. And I actually, just to give, give that real bright look, I'm bringing that into my inner corner quite a lot. It's almost like my, my favorite style of look right now is just one color washed all over the lid. This is like a version of that. And then I'm going back into Cyberpunk's darker color and we're going on top. We're just blending that in. Got a wee tiny bit of fallout, um, but that's all right. I always powder under my eyes before I do my eye makeup, if I'm doing it last, so I can just sweep it away. And I'm just winging this shadow up and out, and then I've gone a little bit low down, so I'm getting my foundation brush and just using it as like a big rubber. <laughs> so we've got a nice big shimmery blend, and now I'm going to add a little wing, so I'm going to use the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. Uh, I'm gonna go in with a little, like a little smudger brush and the shade Cyberpunk and we're gonna put that along the lower lash line. Oh my god. And then again with the mascara, Perversion Mascara. I actually did a look really similar to this yesterday and I put it on my Instagram stories. I wasn't very well and I had a rehydration drink and my drink matched my eyeshadow. And so many of you guys were asking for a tutorial and this is so similar to what I did. I'm just adding my bottom mascara for this look because it's a little bit heavier. That mascara is great. Okay, I'll zoom you out and show you what the look looks like. Show you what the look look look. So it is actually a super wearable way to wear purple. I actually really like this kind of look. I, just a wash of colour with a big wing is my favourite. And then if you wanted to kind of amp up a little bit, you could definitely put on lashes and a little bit of glitter. Um, I am saving that for my last look. Uh, I want to go full Urban Decay Grungy Purple Queen. I'm really excited. So I'm going to go, I'm going to take this eye look off, um, which I'm quite sad about if I'm honest. I could totally wear this today kind of goes with my, my ensemble, but that's fine. And then I will be back with my final look. Time for the final eye look. So I've gone for something really grungy, purple halo eye with a wing, you know, just gone full hawk. So let's start using the All Nighter Concealer as a base again. And I've gone a little bit heavier with it this time because I'm gonna slightly carve out my brow just to give a super slick, clean base. I'm using a flat brush to pat this out this time. And then I'm just gonna use the flat side of the brush to really carve this out. And that's a super quick way, just because as well, I've been doing my makeup and taking it off again. My brows aren't quite as neat as they were at the start. So this just sharpens them right up. For this eye, I actually use a bunch of colors. I kind of use all the colors that I hadn't used yet. So the darkest color that I use is the Purple Dust. Um, and then I blend it out with Cyberpunk. I use a little bit of Lucid for the spotlight, which I thought was really cool. And a little bit of Optimized as well, which is a matte lilac, or it's kind of, you can see it's a super pigmented lilac, really nice. So I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna go in with Purple Dust first, and we're gonna do the outer corner. Purple Dust is this color here. Again, loads of shimmer, but I actually do think it looks just so cool for eyes like this. This eye takes a wee touch longer than the other ones, just because, believe it or not, it takes effort a big messy spotlight eye. These colours are really cool, it's almost like petrol, it looks like an oil slick on the eye. I use quite a lot of brushes as well so I'm going to go in with a different brush and the shade Cyberpunk, that bright purple, and use that to buff it out. I use a bit of euphoric as well. I'm pretty much just dipping into this whole side of the palette just to build the intensity and get that nice blend. Under the eye, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil, the 24-7 Eye Pencil in the shade Alkaline. This is a really beautiful, plummy pencil, nice and matte as well. So I'm going to 
draw that quite thick right along the lower lash. And then I'm going in with the wee wiggly brush again and the shade Purple Dust, that darker shimmery purple. And I'm going to use that to blend it out. This is one of those eye looks that I would probably do before my foundation. Just because it's so much eyeshadow, you will get a little bit of fallout. I'm going to clean that up after I'm finished. And then for your like spotlight, I'm going in with the shade Purple Dust again. And the easiest way is just to put a wee brush in there and wiggle it. Give it a little wiggle. Eye open. You can start to see that you're getting that spotlight. I'm going to go in with the shade Lucid now that gorgeous icy blue. And we're gonna pat that on in the spotlight part of the eye, I'm doing a couple of layers. So I'm doing Lucid first, blending that at the top, blending that at the sides. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Warning, which is that really nice warm purple. And I'm using that at the sides just to blend. I'm going back in with the darker color and blending back. So for glitter, I've got heavy metal glitters. These are some of my most favourite Urban Decay products. Uh, I've got two colours here. I've got the shade Grind, which is a really nice kind of baby pink. It's more iridescent. And then I've got the shade Volume, which is a little bit more solid pink. And I'm going to layer these up just in the centre of the eye. Something I like to do with these glitters is apply them straight from the little tube and then get a clean makeup brush and just use that to pat them out. I'm going to go in with the shade volume now and this adds a little bit more of a colour but it's really pretty. And then just to add a little bit of colour back in I'm going to get the shade Lucid and just pat that on top of the kind of damp glitter that just adds a wee bit of blue back in. There's a lot of kind of back and forth with this makeup and you can just add depth where you think you need it. I'm also going in with the shade Digital. It's a little bit more of a soft shimmer, but it's dark, so you can kind of use this to build up the depth in the outer corner and the inner corner. I feel like I want to go in with a big brush in that purple shade and just, this is actually a highlighter brush and I'm just going in with the shade Warning, that really warm purple, just to blend that into the temples. I'm going to go back in with the Perversion Liner. I just like to do this because a spotlight eye can make my already quite round eyes look rounder. So putting a wing on it will give me that almond shaped eye back. I'm gonna go in with mascara and I'm gonna do my mascara and my lashes and then look and see if I need to add any shadow in. And something that I'm taking ages doing is my bottom mascara. Like I said before, this is a pretty like heavy, grungy, spotlight eye. So the more mascara, the better. I'm also gonna go in my waterline with the Alkaline 24-7 Eye Pencil. I'm also gonna go in my waterline with the 24-7 Blade On Eye Pencil in the shade Viper as well. This is a kind of warmer, glittery purple almost. And I just think it adds, oh yeah, it adds a little bit of dimension. Wow, that's nice. Pop my wee lash on. And then I'm just taking a wee bit of time to look at both eyes and see where I want to add stuff. But I can see, I just want to add a little bit more of that icy blue to this eye. Oh yeah, that's cool. So I'm bringing that right up to the brow. And I'm just using my wee foundation brush to get rid of any fallout. Like I said, this look's got a lot of eyeshadow. You're kind of packing on a lot, so it was to be expected. I'm going to spray my brush with that icy blue shade Lucid. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of all-nighter just to really bring that blue out. Holy moly. And I'm going to zoom you out and show you the finished look. So that is my three looks using the Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette. I am really excited to be working with Urban Decay. Uh, I'm really excited to be showing you the palette, one of the first to show you how to use it. I actually really loved the way that this makeup turned out. I slightly touched up my makeup and made my lip a little bit more nude just because I think it's all about the eyes for this one. And yeah, I had so much fun playing with colour. Again, I just think this palette is so Urban Decay and I hope that I have showed you guys 
a few different ways that you like to use your palette. I will make sure that I link to everything that I use down below. Thank you so much to Urban Decay for partnering with me. And thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, the concealer. I'm going to pop on a little bit of mascara. This is the Perversion Mascara by... Oh, I think I said that weird. Uh, just a really quick go-to look. I should probably try and keep my head up. I'm bringing it up into my middle, middle, what? Uh, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this look off and then we're, we'll, uh, hoo -ha. I can hear Juno screaming. He's a bit of euphoric as well. I pretty, I pretty much, I'm just dipping, oh. <laughs> no. Oh my God, I didn't think I was filming there, I was gonna be sick. Oh, I need to do my own butcher.